Hello guys, welcome again to this new special tutorial on how you can save your logo or image in different sizes and I know that a lot of you guys are struggling with the size of your logo uh, it can be that you need your logo for your application, econ or for your project and you need it to be in a specific size so this tutorial is for you guys and I know that there is a lot of tool to do this online uh, we are not going to do that in this video and I will show you how you can do this only using Photoshop okay so uh, let's start our tutorial let's first start saving this uh, as a PNG so this is the YouTube logo as you can see and we are choosing here a specific location let's choose this folder for example YouTube logo and let's choose here the small size first save And in the first impression, you will get this PNG format option. And there is some options over here. There is the large file size and the smallest for file size. And here we have slowest saving. So that means that this option is taking more time than the fast one, the large file size. Okay. So let's hit OK and let's see the result so here we have the logo is saved as you can see uh, and the size is 52.9 uh, kilobyte as you can see so let's try the other option with the big size so save as and let's choose again the same location and let's save this as the big size Let's click save and let's save this as the large file size. OK. And very quickly the file is saved successfully. And uh, if we do a quick comparison with between those two files, you can see that there is not uh, it's not a big difference. We have here 52.9 we have here 55.3 but those files have the same size as you can see the same dimension as you can see they have the same dimension so what if I need a file that is 10 times more or less than this one what if I need a file with 5 kilobyte only uh, for example if you need it for your uh, application logo or if you, for your uh, econ whatever so in this case we will use the property and we will play uh, with the pixel we will make the pixel of the logo smaller in order to get this specific file size okay so as you can see on the property we have here different tape we have transform tab as you can see if you don't have this tab property tab just click on windows and window and here search for property here is the property as you can see and click and you will have this tape after so here as you can see on transform we have uh, the specific widget and height over here and let's make this 10 times smaller for example let's make this 251 but the first first thing to do click on this little button here this means that the widget and height will be proportion if you change this the height will automatically change to have the same percentage as the widget as you can see so don't forget to click on this aspect ratio button okay So we have 251 enter and this will change automatically as you can see over here 
and as you can see the logo will change also over here as you can see and now the last thing to do is resize this Canva so you click over here and let's resize this one to fit with the new logo dimension as you can see like this okay let's save this right now save as save on your computer and png let's make the size 251 pixel okay just to remember the file name and save Uh, let's keep it as it is large file size So here we have the new file is 251 and Have a look guys. We have here 55.3 kilobyte and we have here only 5.52 kilobyte so it's around 10 times smaller because I've changed it to pixel of the document to be 10 times smaller as you can see guys okay so uh, that's it guys thank you for watching this video if you have any questions to ask uh, ask me in the comment I will reply to everyone don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell uh, so you don't miss any video thank you guys for watching